All right, guys, this is going to be seven, chapter seven, section four. Uh, let's see, and this is called properties of logs. Okay, and this is teaching you how to write equivalent forms of um, logarithmic expressions. Um, so it's going to give you some rules, and um, then I'm going to show you about how those two, what they give you and what you produce, actually equal the same thing, they're equivalent forms. Okay, so um, we've got three rules here. Okay, they go like this. I'll just list them out for you formally. It says, if you have log base B, let's just call it a B, of M times N, so that is exactly the same as log base B of M plus log base B of N. So here's what this formal um, equation means. It means if you have the, the log of two things that are being multiplied together, then it's the same as doing log of base B of the first number plus log base B of the second number. Okay, and this goes both ways. Okay, so I'll give you um, an example of that here. Let me find one for you. I'll do these rules one at a time. Okay, so um, the first example, let's just keep it easy to start. Let's say we have um, log base 2 of 8. Okay, we all know that log base 2 of 8 should equal 3. Okay, well, we got to think about, let, let, let's consider 8 to be 2 times 4. Okay, so what we really have is log base 2 of 2 times 4. That is exactly the same as, and this would be called expanding, first of all. When you change to addition, this is called, anytime that you go from one log word to more than one log word, that's called expanding. Okay, so if I wanted to expand this, that would be, log base 2 of 2 plus log base 2 of 4. Okay, so again, let's check to make sure this still equals 3, because log base 2 of 8 equals 3, so let's make sure this equals 3. Log base 2 of 2, 2 to what exponent is 2? This is 1. Plus log base 2 of 4, 2 to what exponent is 4? That's 2. And of course, 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, if I had something like this, Again, we're going to be expanding here. Log base 7 of 49xy, and I wanted to expand. That would be, every time I see multiplication, I'm going to add a plus sign and write the word log again. So I've got log base 7 of 49. I see multiplication, so it's plus log base 7 of x. I see multiplication, so it's plus log base 7 of y. Okay, if I wanted to condense, so if I wanted to go the other way, maybe if I was given something like um, log of 7 plus log of x, and I wanted to condense, condense means that we're going to take something that has more than one log word and turn it into something that just has the word log one time. So that would be log, every time I see addition, Sorry, log of x. Every time I see addition, I'm going to change it to multiplication. So that's log of 7 times x. Okay. Our next rule says that log base b of m over n. Well, let's see. If multiplication turns to addition, then it should make sense to you that our second rule says that division turns to subtraction. So this is the same thing as log base b of m minus log base b of n. Okay, so here's rule one, here's rule two. All right, so very simply here, if I had something like, let's condense first. If I had something like log base 4 of 32 minus log base 4 of 2. And I wanted to condense, which is I'm going to take this thing, this thing that has more than one log word and turn it into something that just has the word log once. Then that would be log base 4 of 
When I see subtraction, I turn it into division. 32 over 2, which of course is the same thing as log base 4 of 16, which is in fact 2. Okay. Um, if I wanted to expand, uh, if I wanted to expand and I had something like, um, trying to find a decent one here. How about just something simple here? Log base 5 of B over X. And I wanted to expand, which means I'm going to write the word log more than once. So every time I see division, I'm going to write a minus sign and then write the word log again. So I've got log base 5 of B. I see a division sign. So minus log base 5 of X. Let's combine those two rules together. Okay, let's say that I had something like... Um, log base 5 of 5x five over y. Okay, well that's the same as log base 5 of 5. I see multiplication between the 5 and the x, so that's plus log base 5 of x. Now I see division, so that's minus log base 5 of y. Okay. All right, now you have to be careful if that situation was switched. So if I had something like log base 2 of x over 7y. Okay, let's be really careful here. Okay, so first, when I expand, I'm going to have log base 2 of x. Now, I see division, so I'm going to write minus. Now, there's more than one thing down here do, doing the dividing. The 7 is doing dividing, so is the y. So when there's more than one thing down here, when you write your minus sign, which represents division, you want to open up a parenthesis because there's more than one thing down here. So when you write this minus sign, you're saying, and then the parenthesis, you're saying, hey, here comes all the stuff that is dividing. So what is dividing is log base 2 of 7. Now, what's happening between the 7 and the y? There's multiplication. So it's plus log base 2 of y. So you're saying that divided by all of this. Okay. okay, our last rule here deals with exponents, and what it says is that log base b of m to the n power is equivalent to what happens, the rule says you bring the exponent down to a coefficient. So it's the same thing as n times log base b of n. Okay, so if you had something like log base 5 of 8 squared, and I wanted to expand that, that means I'm going to bring that exponent down. That would be 2 times log base 5 of 8. Okay, let's do one that's um, about as much as you can get here. So how about something like this? log of a squared b to the third over c to the fourth and i want to expand i'm going to do this in two steps first i'm going to deal with the multiplication and division and i'm going to deal with the exponents so that's the same thing as log of a squared i see multiplication so that's plus log of b to the third i see division so that's minus log of c to the fourth and now I'm going to bring all of these co um, exponents down to coefficients. So that's 2 log a plus 3 log b minus 4 log c. Okay, if I wanted to write it as a single log or condense, and I had something that maybe like... Um, Okay, how about one fourth log base three of two plus two log base three of x. And I want to condense or write as a single log. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these co 
coefficients and put them back up in the exponent world. So that's log base 3 of 2 to the 1 fourth plus log base 3 of x squared. And now since I see addition, I can change that into multiplication. So that's log base 3 of 2 to the 1 fourth times x squared. All right, these just take a little bit of practice. Let me know if you need some help. And we'll keep moving along.